Hello everyone and welcome back to Ace Attorney Dual Destinies. We're about to cross-examine our good friend Mr. Cosmos. We got this. When I really saw at the scene. Let's just control room together. We've already heard all about that part. Don't you have any new information? Well, let me see. If you have an hour or two, I could tell you all about the Hat One Miracle. Uh, you know, I actually have theater ticket. I should probably, I, sh I probably should go. <laughs> we already know all about that too. Tell us something related to this incident. Mm, I see. You want to know about incidents? No, this incident. Mm, well, then let me tell you about the many incidents that made me the man I am today. How about just incidents in the... No, I don't want that either. I was going to say last 24 hours. <laughs> that wouldn't help. Yes, if you have time, I will tell you all about the upbringing of this great man. Hold it. Athena, you're up. <laughs> you told us all about that already as well. What we need now is your testimony. Is he just pretending to be a crazy old man? Mm, did I really already tell you all about my upbringing? I don't recall doing so. Mm, Director Cosmos, perhaps you could save your boastful tales for later. Mm, if I must. Well, we peeked in through the control room door and... So I figure standing in the middle of the room, turning on the floor, alright. Not much there. But it was so dark you couldn't see this figure's face, isn't that right? Mm, yes, the room is as deep and dark as outer space itself. Uh, speaking of outer space, during the Hat 1 launch seven years ago... If it's about that Hat 1 miracle again, you can sod off and tell it to a stray mutt. <laughs> Excellent idea. No reason why the animal world shouldn't hear of my greatness. And so they shall. But first, your testimony. What happened next? Hold it. So in other words, you were fired at while you were at the control room door. Wait, what? Mm, that is correct. There's something not quite right about that. Director Cosmos, the bullet this person fired hit you, isn't that right? <sighs> There's a lot wrong here. Mm, yes, it was a miracle. A miracle befitting a great history-making figure such as myself. The bullet the figure fired hit me while I was in the control room. But as the cosmos would have it, the bullet bounced off my glorious Medal of Honor. In that case, the bullet should have wound up somewhere around the control room door. Okay, so Director Cosmos was in the control room to the east. And while he was there, he was shot at by someone with a 10 caliber gun. But the bullet hit his medal, so he's able to escape with his life. He's a very lucky man, no wonder people think he's great. Hey, I'm pretty lucky myself, so if he's a great man, then I'm the king of all cosmos. <laughs> Is that a, uh, Katamari Damashi joke? Alright, so the one... I mean, the figure fired at us. Okay, let's see what we can find wrong with that. Uh, not, not that. Terrain are authorized. Equipped with backup power. Print recognized. Tips are recorded. Starbucks prints were found in the scanner. Uh huh. Hmm. That doesn't help. I wish I had a way of pointing to this, but if he's standing in the control room, there's virtually no way that bullet could have ended up where it did. Control room, door lock. I can't wait. Hold, wait, which one was this one? Launch pad one door. Oh, okay. No, that was a different spot. Never mind. I wish I could look at that one. 
Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Discovered it in a gutter that runs along the south wall of the boarding lounge. Okay. Wait, where's my... Where's my map of this place? Oh, there it is. Mmm. You're still in the control room to the east. Nope. Do I present that though? Or do I present the Well, I guess I wouldn't I would guess I would present the bullet. Director Cosmos, I believe you are telling this court a glorious lie. Mm, a great man like me is a lie. Have you ever heard of such a thing in all of history? Constantly. My accusation is based on the positions of the people who were in the lounge. According to your testimony, you and Detective Arm were near the control room door. And the mystery figure was standing in the middle of the boarding lounge. If, as you say, the figure fired a gun at you from this position, then the bullet would have traveled in this direction. However, we found the 10 caliber bullet here. No. The trajectory and where the bullet was actually found contradict each other. Director Cosmos, where were you really when you were being shot at? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the human merry-go-round. <laughs> what? Mm, don't tell me you've forgotten already. Didn't the witness himself just tell you? The bullet hit his metal. No way of this. There is no mistake. And it traveled that far. But in that case, the bullet would have been found near the east side of the room. Are you trying to say that you can explain this inconsistency? Mm, of course. I didn't think so. What? <laughs> no great director, Cosmos. Yes, is there something you'd like me to expound upon? You were in fact not in the control room to the east, were you? You were looking into the lounge from the door to the south, is that not right? <laughs> what are you getting at? Oh no! Ah, we trapped ourselves. Because if he was standing in the south doorway, then no one could have run past him. Rip. Use your own brain. Your head must have some use other than housing that bird's nest. Bird's nest? Why does everyone pick up my hair? But then why lie about it, though? Director Cosmos and the detective witnessed the scene from the southern door. The killer fired at them from there, and that is why the bullet was found in the south. Ah, th that makes some sense, actually. Also, the witness being at the southern door is rather favorable for the prosecution. Huh? I got a bad feeling about this. How about it, Director, if you don't tell the truth this time? <laughs> Yikes! Is handcuffs. You will become but rust upon my sword. I relished a chance to cut down a great man. <laughs> All right, I'll tell the truth. Just put your sword away. You are correct. I, the Great Eerie Cosmos, was looking into the room from the southern door. What? That's the complete opposite of all the testimony he's given so far. And now you have lost your possibility that a third person was in the room. I have? How? Because they can't get out the other door. The director and the detective were near the southern door. I mean, the killer couldn't have escaped through there. The western door required print recognition. The corridor beyond was filled with smoke. The only escape route left was the eastern control room door. And the only way to get through there was with Director Cosmos' fingerprint. Ah. 
In short, there'd be no escape for any third person had there been one. Ah! <laughs> but my third person just disappeared. Like in one of Trucy's magic tricks. Crap. Order, order in the court. Dr. Cosmos, why did you tell such an outrageous lie? Hmm. You are covering for the defendant, isn't that right? Yes. It was all for the love of my men. If I said I was in the eastern control room, it would mean the culprit could have escaped through the southern door. It would have meant that there could have been a third person. All I wanted to do was protect Starbuck. I said I was in the control room to invent an escape route for a third person. No, you didn't. That's the biggest lie. Yeah, what a convoluted lie. Was he really covering for the defendant? No. Absolutely not. Okay. So why lie about that? Mm, looks like we've come to a conclusion. The defense's argument, the possibility of a third person, has crumbled. No. No. It's over. Yikes! The judge is about to hand down his verdict. Think, Phoenix, think! This is a perfect time to try and turn my thinking around. If a third person had no way of escaping the scene, then what if one of the people at the scene was this third person? Wait, what if the whole premise is all wrong? Director Cosmo said that he and Detective Arm rushed to the scene together, but what if that premise isn't true? What if one of them reached the scene before the other one? And if that person entered the lounge, then they would be the third person. Hold on. The defendant is the only one who could have killed the victim and shot at the director. There doesn't appear to be any room for argument against these claims. I will now render my vert. Please wait, Your Honor. There is still one possibility. Mm, oh, this is better be good, Mr. Wright. There is one and only one person who could have escaped from the scene, and that person would be the first person who arrived on the scene. Then, upon entering the boarding lounge, the second person to arrive came via the southern door. That's why the first person fled from the room, using an escape route that was accessible only to them. Mm, very well, let's hear more about this theory. Who is this one person who could have escaped from the boarding lounge? Oh, I know who it is. Where, where are you? Where, where'd he go? There, there he is. What? That's... Mr. Wright, what are, what are you claiming here? Of all the people who were at the scene, only the witness could have escaped. The director is the only one with the authority to open the control room door, after all. But that means... Exactly. The true identity of the third person is our current witness, Director Yuri Cosmos. Ah! What? What? Got him. Is it really him? Order, order in the court, I say. Uh, Mr. Wright, you will explain yourself in more detail. I assert that Director Cosmos arrived at the scene before Detective Arm and entered the boarding lounge alone. Detective Arm arrived after that and saw a suspicious figure who was actually Director Cosmo standing in the lounge. And that's why she fired those two warning shots. Uh, I've been hit. I've been hit on the starboard side. Captain Wright, it's a direct hit on the enemy ship, sir. A magnificent shot. Warning shots fired from the enemy ship. Prepare to intercept. Cosmos, you have told a lie in this court once again. I've been hit. I've been hit on the port side. The enemy has called in reinforcements. Earth Cosmos Control Center requesting permission to ask that you return to reality. But my ship will not go down to anything less than the ultimate weapon of evidence. But I do have evidence. In fact, you could say that your battleship bears its scar. If Director Cosmos is the third person Aura Blackwell saw. This third person fired Detective Arm and Director Cosmos with their gun, and in return, the detective fired her warning shots. Isn't that how it really went down, Director Cosmos? Looks like you've deduced my miraculous tale of survival. Yes, you're absolutely correct. This Mr. Person fired upon us. 
Director Cosmos must have been the one who fired the 10 caliber gun. That's why it was on that wall. Yep. When Detective Arm discovered him in the lounge, it only makes sense that he would have turned and shot at her. Therefore, the evidence on the director's body is of a different kind of relevance than before. Once we compare it against another piece of evidence, the mark that you receive from the third party will be all the proof we need. To prove that you were the one there in the lounge. Uh, a brace for further impact. Comparison against this piece of evidence will prove that you were the one in the lounge. Uh, come again. Is it his metal? Do we have that? Uh, oh no, we have that. It is dented up pretty good. Right? So that's the bullet that hit him. Take that. The 38 caliber bullet found on the floor at the scene didn't hit the oxygen tank. It hit Director Cosmos' metal. If we have that ricochet mark on the metal analyzed, I'm sure the caliber will match up. Okay. And if that mark proves to be from a 38 caliber bullet, it will prove that you are the third person we've been looking for. Uh, the bridge is destroyed. Losing altitude. All hands. Abandon ship. Mm, if that's true, then what about the bullet that hit the oxygen tank? It didn't. It was a 10 caliber bullet. In other words, it was the bullet fired by Yuri Cosmos. Isn't that right, Director? No, you've got it all wrong. What? The engines have started again? It's a miracle. I'm not going down yet. We need to stop this at once and confess the truth. If you don't want the history books to say that a great man was a great liar, then accept your fate and tell the truth. Are you giving me orders? Me, the great director of the Cosmos Space Center. Uh, but the Cosmos revolves around me. Ah, someone get me off this thing. I wanted to see Blackwell's face. Order, order in the court. And will someone please stop the witness from spinning? Did they get him? No, oh, good. He's... Is he going to be declared too dizzy to stand trial? Mm, thank goodness we were able to stop them from spinning off the face of the Earth. While I was twirling, I took the liberty of running an analysis on the mark on the metal. Crap. Oh, good. It was made by a 38 caliber bullet, matching it with the size of Detective Arms' firearm. Mm. Are you ready to confess the truth, witness? No, you've got it all wrong. This is just a misunderstanding. Is he going to start piling on more lies? <sighs> Looks like it. No matter how many lies he tells, I'll just expose them one by one. <coughs> <coughs> oh, too, too, too much of the, the old, old men voices. I'll make that big liar tell the truth. Oh, well, I couldn't have gotten that a second ago. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, we still got time. Save the game, sure. Let's do it. Uh, what just happened? That was a weird break. Hmm, Director Cosmos, a new possibility has been presented by the defense. They are claiming that you were this third person. Uh, forgive me, I'm so sorry. So the great pioneer of space development is revealed to be just another fabulous cur. I have only one question for the likes of you. Shall I send you off quickly or very quickly? Uh! The evidence doesn't lie, Dr. Cosmo, so don't try to talk your way out of this. He's going to try to talk his way out of this. Fine, I'll tell the truth. It's all just as you say, Mr. Wright. It's true that I was there in the boarding lounge. I got there before Detective Arm, and when she arrived, she fired warning shots at me. She's, he's going to try to claim that he was already dead. 
Hmm, I was afraid people would mistake me for the killer, so I escaped to the control room. And then went around. Yep. And then I went past the elevators and all the way around to boarding lounge one again. I came up behind Detective Arm and pretended to be second on the scene. What a troublesome old man you are with such convoluted deeds and thoughts. Mm, I see. So then... Are you still insisting that you did not kill the victim? Uh, of course I am. When I arrived at the lounge alone, I saw the true killer. The, the great Jerry Cosmos was a history-making witness. Lies! Now hold on just one moment. We just proved a few minutes ago that the third person that Mr. Starbuck and Miss Ara Blackwell saw was you. No, it wasn't me. I saw the person as well. If I were the killer, why would I lie to cover for Starbuck? I would just leave him to take the fall. There's some logic in that, actually. Hmm, that is an excellent point. What I wanted to do was protect Starbuck. I said I was in the control room to invent an escape route for a third person. Is it? I, I don't know about that. Well, it makes some sense if he told those lies to cover for Mr. Starbuck. Still, lies a lie, Athena. So Director Cosmos claims he's not the culprit, but where's the proof? Nah, I just remembered. I have an alibi. Ms. Blackwell said that she saw the killer at 10 a.m., correct? Yes, and... Do we have a time of death? Time's on anything? Not really. Well, I was on the fourth floor helping with the evacuation effort. Ask any member of the staff you'd like. They'll corroborate me. Mm, the director is not fibbing to the court for once. I confirm that he has an alibi for the time specified. So you're claiming that Miss Blackwell saw the killer commit the crime first at 10 a.m. And that you arrived at the lounge after that? Yes, and I believe the person I saw is the same person that Ms. Blackwell saw. Although it was pitch black, so it was more of a shadowy figure and less of a person. And I couldn't actually see their face, but it was definitely the silhouette of an Earthling. It's plus. Killer is not an alien. That we know of. Hmm, as long as he has an alibi. We can't very well claim Dr. Cosmos was the killer. No, we can't. Then again, maybe we don't need to yet. I wonder if he was really covering for Mr. Starbuck. No, absolutely not. Your Honor, the defense moves to have the director testify about the person he saw. Hmm, very well, uh, Director Cosmos, your testimony, please. Also, if you could not lie through your teeth for once, that would be great. What I really witnessed. As I tried to enter the lounge, the true killer inside fired a gun at me. I hid to avoid getting shot. But when I tried to get another look, they had vanished into thin air. I was near the elevator side door and, uh, well, the launch pad one door. And the control room door should have been shut tight to the killer. Huh. So you were shot at by the killer as well, and then they disappeared. Yes, though luckily no harm came to my glorious body. Unfortunately, the bullet hit Terrain's oxygen tank. I know, because I heard a pang. That must have been the sound of the tank being ruptured. No, maybe not, though. Wait, but I thought the bullet hit his metal. That was a Detective Arms bullet, remember? Right. What a mess this is turning into. So, let's see. Director Cosmos is claiming that when he found Mr. Terrain and his killer, the culprit shot a 10 caliber bullet at him. Right, but it actually hit Mr. Terrain's oxygen tank and ruptured it. And then the killer disappeared and the director went into the boarding lounge. When Detective Arm caught up and fired those warning shots at him. Judging by his medal, it looks like one of them almost took him out too good summary, but that doesn't explain where our mystery killer went. Director Cosmos, I was wondering if you could elaborate on when the figure disappeared. 
I'm ashamed to admit, I tried to hide myself when I was shot at, uh, but when I peeped back into the lounge, the real killer was uh, gone. I rushed into the lounge straight away to investigate, uh, but when I found Mr. Terrain with a knife in his chest and Starbuck out cold on the floor, Hmm, so we have the culprit who vanished from a scene that had no escape route. Vanished without a trace. It's truly like one of the great mysteries of the cosmos. Hmm. A riddle of the ages, indeed. But I'd rather know how a fibbing leech such as yourself can be lauded as a great. A great man is always misunderstood in his own time. But he must remain true to himself, even if those around him don't understand. Wow, that might be the first true statement he said all day. There's a good, there's a good chance of that. <laughs> but how do you suppose this person managed to vanish so suddenly? Simple, because it was Space Boy himself. When he was spotted by the director in aura, he quickly feigned unconsciousness. That would certainly take all the mystery out of the idea of a vanishing culprit. I want to raise an objection, but I don't have any counter evidence. Director Cosmos, when you saw this person, did you also see Mr. Starbuck on the floor? Uh, no, because it was as dark as a black hole in there. I didn't see Starbuck until the other person vanished and I entered the room. Hmm, that wasn't exactly helpful. Hm. I'm prepared to accept your surrender, right, Dono? I can't find any holes in this testimony, but I can't give up. Mr. Wright, why don't you let me help? Huh? While the director was giving his testimony, I detected a cacophony of discord. Which means he's hiding his true feelings from us, huh? This just might help us find out what happened to our vanished killer. That'd be great, Athena. Let's see what you can do with him. You got it, boss. I wouldn't want to miss this chance to delve into a great mind. Yuri Cosmos, prepare to hand over the secrets of your heart to me. Okay, we'll pick this up in the next episode. We'll we'll delve into his heart. I'm wondering if we just haven't met the killer yet. Or he is the killer. I think that's what I'm down to. Like, like his story is just so weird. That I don't know I don't know why he would tell the lie that he is, is the weird thing. So that's that's my thought, is that we haven't met the killer yet. Or could it be Aura? I don't. I think she's just unpleasant. I don't know that she necessarily killed anyone. I don't know. I actually don't. I, I know who I'm leaning towards uh, Cosmos, but I actually don't feel super confident about that. So I'm I'm excited to see uh, what other evidence we find. As always, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.